Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing the Dell 2520D. This is a 25 inch monitor with USB-C support with charging up to 90 watts. So just a simple unboxing and first look at it. So we'll go ahead, flip it onto its side and then open it up like so. And then inside we've got a calibration factory report. So you can see there you get a nice little documentation showing you the uh, grayscale and gamma and sRGB notes there. So we'll put that off to the side. Got some more documentation and a quick start guide. Then we have the cables. So we have a type A port to type C. So if you want to use the ports on the monitor uh, with your desktop computer, you can use that cable there. Then we have a display port cable there and then we have the type c to type c usb port so you can use that to charge your laptop and use it to connect the monitor and then we have the power connector there three pin for me in the uk here then we have the mounting plate on the back here so we'll go ahead open that up And you can see there, this is the base for the stand. Go ahead, put that off to the side. Then we have the monitor arm. Go ahead, take it out of this sleeve. You can see there, simple Dell branding on the back. So we'll see how that goes together. Then we have a load of cardboard, take that out. And then we have the monitor itself. So just be careful when you're taking it out. Lift it up there. And then we'll put the box off to the side. Nothing else left in there. And then if we take the monitor and just put it down for the moment. I'll go ahead and assemble the stand so it's ready to put on. So very simple to do. You just take the two parts, put that one into there and then on the bottom there there's a little screw that you can tighten up just like so you can just do it hand tight like that and then push that down and there you go and you can see you've got the swivel function as well but we'll seal that later on so got the monitor stand there and we'll take the monitor go ahead and take the sleeve off of it And then if we take the stand and the monitor and you just put the top onto the back like so, just like that, and then push down and that's locked into place just like that. And we'll go ahead and peel off this protective cover on the front. And there we go, there's the monitor itself. So you've got that 25 inch screen on the front with minimal bezels, uh, 1440p screen at 60 hertz with a one to 1000 contrast ratio IPS screen. So go ahead and set it up on the desk and plug it in, see what it looks like, give you a first impression of it. Overall so far, just on the build, seems very nice. Again, you have that tilt function, swivel, you can then turn it to have it in vertical mode if you want it like that and just swivel it back again and then the height adjust as well so you can slide it down to there and then back up again so we'll go ahead plug it into the computer see what it looks like just quickly you can see here along the left hand side you have that type a with 10 watts of charging and the type c with 15 watts Along back there are all the ports along with the button to release the monitor from the stand. Okay, so just whilst I've got the monitor tilted here, you can see I've plugged in the power and then you have the HDMI here, the display port, type C, another display port out. So if you want a daisy chain and just have the one cable going to this, you can do that. Headphone jack there, 
and then two USB ports as well as the two USB ports on the side there. We'll go ahead, plug in the type C cable. So you can see there, take that and we'll just run it through the little hole in the back there. So it's all nicely rounded. Take it through there and then just plug it into that port there. And that will provide power to the laptop as well as data and video. So we'll go ahead, flip it back around and plug in the computer. So we've just booted up the monitor, plugged in my computer. You can see it's got a little option menu that's popped up. So you can use the four buttons along the bottom here. You've got up, down, tick and cross, and then the power button as well. So we'll go ahead, select English. And then it's got easy initial setup. So select yes to enable the following function, always on USB-C charging. And I'm going to go ahead and switch that function to yes. So it does keep charging my laptop even when uh, the monitor's display is off. And you can see there, it's now booted into the screen. So I'll go ahead, get a bit better view of the monitor itself. Okay, sorry for the crazy background uh, around the monitor, but it's just in my bedroom here. So you can see both displays are on, but the arrangement is currently not right. So you can see if I try and push up with the mouse, it doesn't go through. So to change that, we're going to go into settings, head into displays, and then into arrangement. And you can see there, the second display is currently set to the right. So we'll go ahead and drag it to the top like so. And there you go. And we can go now up to the top and we can see rotation standard. So you can change it there if you had it in that 90 degree angle and the refresh rate is there, 59.88. Not quite sure why it's that, it is meant to be 60, but close enough there. And then you have the color options as well there. So go ahead and close down that. Now you can see just whilst I've got the 16 inch MacBook down below, you can see currently you don't have enough uh, height adjustment to avoid getting the top of the laptop screen in there so you would need to raise it up to get it above or close down your laptop like that if you have a keyboard and mouse in which case you can then lower the monitor down and you can see that it's switched over to be the main display okay so i've just chucked up some video so we can have a look at the monitor and talk about it so you can see really thin bezels all the way around the edge including that bottom bezel quite often you get a slightly thicker chin down here at the bottom but you can see very thin with just the small Dell logo there in the middle. You can see the cables, you can just see the one coming off there, the Type-C to my MacBook. Otherwise, very clean, you can hide them all behind the monitor stand. In terms of adjustability, as I said, you can lower it all the way down to about two inches off the desk. And then just using one hand, you can raise it all the way up like that. But then you do get that little hole with the cables there. So I'd keep it around the middle, but obviously go for what's most comfortable for you. In terms of the display, you can see there, really nice crisp picture. You can see just in the corner here, some of the reflection, I've got the window over to the left-hand side with the sun shining through. So you can see it does a good job there of matting the sun out and keeping the rest of the display looking nice. So go ahead and take a look with a black screen, see what it looks like in terms of backlight for lead. So I've currently put a black background on and you can see there, very good backlight lead, not much at all. And you can see the reflection there is much worse, but again, doing a good job is direct sunlight through the window. So very nice to see there. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the controls for the monitor itself now. So as I said earlier, you have the four buttons down here to control the monitor along with the power button. So if we go ahead, tap one, you can see it comes up with the little menu there. We'll go ahead into this one and you can see you have a load of different options. So we can use these two buttons to scroll through them. So you have brightness and contrast there currently set to 75% out of the box. You have input source. So currently on type C, but you do have that display port and HDMI port and you can also select uh, along with also select for type C. So if you have a desktop computer, and you plug in your laptop, it will automatically switch over. So very useful if you have two different devices that you use. 
Then you have the colour. I won't go into all of this, but you can see quite easy to navigate around and you can go all the way down. You can see there, Type-C charging is 90 watts. So that's one of the main draws of this monitor. If you have a 16 inch MacBook Pro that comes with the 96 watt charger, this is one of the highest you can get. So other than the LG Ultrafine, that puts out similar sort of power. A lot of monitors only put out 65 watts or even less. So this was a good monitor to find. There is also a Philips monitor. I believe I'll leave a link in the description to this one and some others that I think are good choices if you have a MacBook. But this one had 90 watts, which was a big draw for me. And then you have all the other settings, so you can reset to factory settings, things like that. And then you can just use the little cross there to close out of that. So that's the controls. Quite simple to navigate, but again, once you've got them, you should be able to just leave them. And you do have the different inputs there, so you can see your different modes. So it's currently in standard, but you do have all your other modes there, along with game, mode, movie, comfort, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first look at the Dell 2520D. As I said, links in the description to this monitor, along with a few others that I recommend, especially if you have a MacBook with that Type C. But any laptop that you want to use, um, or if you have a desktop, this is a good monitor for that. I think it's got 60 hertz, the 1440p display, so nice and crisp. Not the best for gaming. If you are just looking for a gaming monitor, this isn't it. But if you have a MacBook or you're using this for work um, or some video production um, with a few light games, this can handle it. It seems to work very well. I'm going to go ahead and use it for a while. Uh, if you have any questions, do post them in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, do please hit that like button, get subscribed over there on the left, and I'll see you guys in the next video.